Now, step one in the screen print process is to figure out exactly what we're going to be printing on. Because how do you even start printing if you don't know what exactly you're printing on? So, in this case, we have four different color t-shirts right here. We have a simple one color print on them. And we always make a mock-up to know exactly how that design is supposed to come out and what exactly is being printed. So, we have a visual reference and the client themselves have a visual reference. So, in this case, we have a simple one color print right there. And we got all four colors right here. And specifically, these colors are brown, mustard, dark olive, and muave pink, which that's a fire colorway. And if you're wondering, this is the Bella Canvas 3001T. This is a great T, especially when it comes to having that nice quality and premium feel rather than that basic t shirt. All right, now here we are in the dark room. Now that we know exactly what we're gonna be printing on, this is the screen making room. This is where all the screens get made, which is basically step one of the whole entire process because it all starts with the screen. Get it? Screen printing, screen, yeah. Anyways, we got our transparency sheet right here. Even though we're gonna be using white ink when it comes on a shirt, we always have to print our trans transparency films black because the emulsion on the screen is photopolymer, so it's sensitive to light. That's why we have a yellow light here. Here, it's a safe light basically, but in other words, that emulsion is sensitive to light. So when we put this onto the screen and we blast it with light right there, the black basically blocks out the light from hitting the screen, which doesn't let the, the design part of the image harden. So whatever touches it with light, it hardens that part of the screen, but whatever it doesn't touch, keep in mind, the black it doesn't harden it. So that way, when we go to wash it out, it's just gonna wash out. Let me show you a visual example. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab our screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a 156 mesh screen, line my transparency up to this little grid right here that I like to use, grab that screen, place it, match it up to the corners and drop it down. Keep in mind the transparency, I had pieces of tape on all four corners. So now when I press down, it just sticks on there and then I just flip it over make sure it's flat and stuck on there and then we come to our, our exposure unit lay a pad down to push that screen down into the glass and lock it in and then we go ahead and expose it with that light and now I got my backlit exposure unit set up and my weapon of choice is a pressure washer now I bring that screen that was just exposed and I rinse it with water and as you can see that design is already starting to pop up right there you can already see it now same thing happened it exposes to light and whatever that black image blocks that light so that black area of the screen is technically still weak and it hasn't hardened whereas everything else that got hit with water hardened so now when I come back with pressure it's just gonna knock that image out leaving it open so when we go to print, it's an open area to push ink through. And now that our screen is dried up and all made, let's lock it into the screen print press. And now this is the screen print press. This is what holds the screens exactly right here. And this is where the shirt lays down and gets printed. So all we do is take our screen, we pop that bad boy in there. Before tightening it down, we just bring it down here and make sure it's centered up. Now, we have a center mark right on the t-shirt palette. This is what holds the t-shirt and we lay the shirt flat on here. Now, this is the middle line. And that's exactly why we have these two crosshairs in the design, which is basically the center mark. So, we just bring our screen down and we line up those center marks right to that center line to make sure we print it in the center now i know what you're thinking that thing right there looks off now that's when our micro registrations come into place i use this which is my x y and z micro registration so i can make those tiny movements use those micro movements and just slide it up and get that centered up the slide moves and just like that we got it exactly centered up so now we know the design is going to be printed straight so we lock that in and now it's gonna fall in that same spot every time. And now that we got that locked in, we have one other thing to do, which is tape off the corners, but we'll do it 
from the ink side, which is the inside of the screen. Now, as you can see, there's blue color right here, which is basically that photopolymer emulsion I was telling you about that's light sensitive. So whenever light touches this, it hardens up. And remember that black image, because it blocked out the light, we were able to just wash that part out. Now, this part is still open because we don't coat it with emulsion all around. So we're just gonna tape that up. So when we go to print, no ink escapes from the screen. And now that we got that taped up, let's go ahead and grab our inks. And now it's time to choose the colors we need. In this case, we need white ink and what's gonna be best for that specific garment. In this case, we're printing on a 100% cotton t-shirt. So my weapon of choice is Stark White from Monarch Ink and this is so far, it works the best for me. Ever since I did a bunch of testing on which inks I want to use, I've gone through a bunch of white inks, but this ink has been working well for me, especially for 100% cotton ever since I got my hands on it. So let's load it up. You want to go ahead and mix that ink up just so you can get it moving and everything is good. So, and then you just whip it out and slap it onto the screen. And we also need a squeegee, which is what's going to basically slide that ink through the mesh of the screen because, I mean, we're not just going to use our hands to do it. So we need a squeegee dedicated to doing that. Now, I think it's finally time for the moment that we all have been waiting for is let's actually print a shirt. First things first, I'm going to grab a scrap shirt that I just do a bunch of tests on. And I'm going to do a test print to make sure everything is going good before I start printing on the full run. So so what we do with this squeegee is just grab it flood the screen with the ink so all we're doing is basically barely any pressure but just sliding that ink through the screen and we're going to come in front of it push down and pull and try to get that ink to clear now when you're first doing it on the first screen it's going to be a little bit more difficult to clear it but after you start moving that ink and everything just starts to flow together and as you can see, check that out. Now, this right here is what's called a flash dryer, and it does exactly what the name says. It flash dries that print. So we take that print, slide it right under it. Now, what that's doing is basically heating up that t-shirt and that print and quickly drying that ink, but not at a full dry, but just enough so it can be a little bit sticky, but no ink gets on your hands. So now that it's a little bit tacky, we can go ahead and add our second print. Just slide the ink through, push down, angle it, and pull. Now, as you can see, the ink cleared a lot better the second time around because that's because it started to flow more better. And boom, we got a nice, bright, white, beautiful print. So now all we do is just peel that shirt up, take it to the conveyor jar, and we set it on here and let it run through the heat. This is basically the conveyor jar. The shirt goes through there and it starts to slowly seep its way out here. And it's basically like a hot oven in there. So it basically cooks that print to make sure it adheres to the t-shirt and lasts. So right here is where that print basically comes out. As you can see, it comes out at about 320, 330 degrees. And that's the proper cure time to get it to last and be cured properly. And now that the shirt came out of the conveyor dryer, I let it cool off a little bit just to let that ink cool down and let the heat out. But I'm big on quality control. I like to double check, triple check at the end of the conveyor dryer to make sure these shirts are lasting through the wash. One quick way to make sure it will is doing a stretch test to make sure it's not cracking or just peeling off. And as you can see, I'm stretching that print and it's not cracking. And that's how we know we got to good cure on that ink as you can see i'm stretching everywhere on that design even the corners because the corners are the most vulnerable vulnerable parts of the design because it usually doesn't get cured the best because sometimes your conveyor jar doesn't hit that corner and it just messes things up but in this case as you can see we're looking good on all ends and now it's time to go ahead and get this production started. So now I'm just going to go ahead and lay out all the t-shirts and get everything started and start screen printing because we did our test prints. We got our ink on there. We made the screen. Everything is good to go. We did our quality control test at the end of the conveyor jar and everything checks out. So 
let's go ahead and bang these t-shirts out now as you can see i keep running towards the end of the conveyor jar back and forth throughout a couple t-shirts just to go ahead and make sure that my temperature is right and everything is still curing at the right temperature throughout the entire shirt run just because i like to double check and make sure it's all going good anyways i hope you all enjoyed this video and this gave you some insight on what goes into screen printing and how exactly t-shirts are printed and exactly what it takes always remember no grind no glory and i'll see you in the next one peace